Hi, sewing friends. Welcome to my sewing room. My name is Beth, and if you're new, welcome. It's nice to be sewing with you today. Last week, I filmed a video. I made some basket quilt blocks that I had fun making, and I thought I'd downsize a little bit, make a smaller block on point, which means the square sits on its point rather than on its side. Uh, it's a little bit trickier to put it together when you're done. You need to sew the rows together diagonally. I added sashing and corner stones, which of course you wouldn't need to do. I, today I'm gonna show you how to make the block. It's uh, using scraps. I make it a little bit bigger than I needed and then I cut it down to four and a quarter inch. And when I put them all together, I think it's beautiful. Things don't match up totally. And I think that makes a quirky quilt, it, fun to look at. And I especially like the colors in this quilt. They're sort of old fashioned colors, the blacks, the reds, the grays, some navy blue. So let's get started. For our block today, I need a two inch wide strip of fabric. Mine is about 12 inches long and that will vary depending on the size of your block. I need a five inch square that I'm going to cut in half, corner to corner, and I only need half for each block. This triangle is the top of the block. And then I will need some bias, and mine was cut one inch wide, and I added a basting stitch, after folding it in thirds, and I will be attaching it right here as a handle. I need some scraps, and this scrap is, I'm going to turn this scrap into a triangle. You might have some triangles lying around. Be creative with your basket or bag. Could be any size. I'll add sides to this, and I uh, want to mention that you don't want to start here with your seam because you'll lose fabric right here. So you want to move your two inch strip up a ways before attaching. Right sides together, I'm going to sit at the machine and put these two together. and then I'll cut the top, even with the top of my basket. I'll cut that strip. Then I take this strip right here, and I'll add it to this side. Again, I move it up just a little bit so I make sure I don't run out of fabric when I open it up. As you can see, we have some excess fabric here. And then I trim across the top. Even with the top of my basket. Here's the top. And I just need to add a handle. For the handle, I need a piece of fabric that's cut on the diagonal. So here's my salvage. And if I fold that sort of on an angle like that, I can use that fold as my guide, as my straight line. And I'm going to cut through. This is cutting on bias. And for my handles today, I want to cut one inch or smaller. If you go smaller, it's pretty fiddly, but you want a pretty small piece of fabric for these tiny blocks. And our basket blocks here are only four and a quarter inches. So after I cut that one inch, I'm gonna fold it in thirds, just like I did at my, on my last video. I'm gonna fold it in thirds, and I'm going to sew through that with a 
basting stitch, a very large stitch, to get it ready to make my basket. So I will take this to my ironing board and I will press a curve. When my, I made my baskets, I was not too fussy about making sure that the handles matched the basket itself. Some of the handles kind of fall off the edges. Um, some of them match, and here's one that was totally off on the right side there. But I think that's fine. This one ended up being over the basket. And since this basket is pretty tiny, I probably will have some trouble getting it to match right up. But if you want, you can mark your fabric with a pencil. I am just going to wing it and I'm going to sew that on. I'm going to top stitch it on with a thread that matches the handle. After getting my handle attached, all I need to do now is put my right sides together. I'll press this open and then I will trim it to four and a quarter inch. If you're not getting it the size that you need or want, just go up a little bit in your strips, make them a little bigger. You could make this basket any size you want. Do some other si uh, designs. You might want a rectangular bag. This kind of looks like a purse here. As long as you have a triangle on top with a handle, anything goes on the bottom. So have fun making blocks. I'm going to make some more and get my little basket quilt together.